morning. I'm gonna make some lunch because I'm so hungry. So let's make some lunch, shall we? All right, we are making some delicious bakboki today for lunch. I've got these rice cakes to use up. These are from the Korean grocery store and these are like the little balls. Normally in takpoki you use like the long sticks, but we don't have any of those and we're gonna use up what we have. So I've got these little balls, which are really yummy. I've got some leftover fish cake balls that I'm gonna chop up. Also, Cal is defrosting a steak that we're gonna cut up and put into there. Again, just using up things that we have. Onion, garlic, I'm gonna use some soy sauce, I'm gonna use some gochujang. I do have a recipe on cooking with Remy for takpoki. It is a little bit more labor intensive, that one, so this is just gonna be like a quick version. We got some garlic, I've got some other fish cake. This is the Naruto Maki fish cake. I've got these noodles, which I'm really excited to use. I bought these on Amazon, but they are Chinese wide vermicelli noodles. They're like really thick and chewy and delicious and just fun to eat. So got these to put in there. And then on top, we're gonna put some mozzarella cheese to make it yummy and creamy. And that is pretty much the gist. We're also gonna add in like sesame oil and salt and pepper and things like that, obviously. But this is the main components of our bakboki. I'm gonna begin by just soaking my little rice cakes in some water. This is like a tepid room temperature water for about 10 minutes. And in the meantime, chop up all my other ingredients. And just like that, guys, it is done. I also totally forgot to tell you that I obviously wanted to add in hard-boiled eggs. That's my favorite part, so I cooked some eggs on the side. I also cooked the little glass noodles on the side in the boiling water and then put them in cooked after. Cut up the steak, made the sauce with a mixture of gochujang. I used some sugar, gochugaru, which are Korean chili flakes. I did use this momofuku soy sauce, which I don't normally use, and it's a lot darker and saltier than the other soy sauces that I use, so it's a little darker than usual and a little bit more salty, so I actually added a little bit of almond milk in to make it a little less salty, and it honestly worked really well. And that is the finished food. I'm gonna plate it up in some bowls, put some cheese on top, melt it, there we go. All right, cheese is on top, and we're gonna be a little extra with our melting process. <laughs> Just using a little blowtorch to get it nice and bubbly. Ooh la la. Hi guys, it is a few days later. Hello, okay, I'm back to check in. I have been getting my butt kicked by the jet lag, oh my god. Last night I went to bed at a normal time, woke up at a normal time, and I'm feeling much better about it. Since we've been back, I've been going to bed so late, like 4 a.m. in the morning, I've been taking naps during the day, and it has not been good for my circadian rhythm. Last night I finally went to bed at like 11, and I woke up at 7.45, and I'm feeling much better. I am tired, but I'm feeling much better. Hopefully we're back on a better track, but hello, it is Monday morning, and I am getting my day started. So, first up, I'm cooking one of my little breakfast muffins in my toaster, I don't wanna open it up to let the steam escape, but I'm making my breakfast muffin. Hello guys, update, it's been a couple hours, but I did some computer work and then I went out into the garden and just did a bunch of cleaning because I've been meaning to do that for so long. A lot of crops had overgrown and bolted and I need to change seasons, so I took a bunch of stuff out. I wanna head over to the garden store sometime, maybe even today, we'll see if I have time today to go, but it is finally time to plant tomatoes again and I'm so excited. I honestly should have done it a couple weeks ago, but obviously I was busy, but tomatoes have been my favorite crop to grow ever. They are very labor intensive, but so worth it because it yields so much. You know what, actually, let's go give you guys a little garden tour right now. But while I was out there, I picked a few passion fruit, or not picked them because they fell on the ground. That's how you harvest them. You just wait for them to fall. Look how ginormous this one is. It's like the size of a baseball. So good. I've yet to actually try them. I have a few over here. These came off right as soon as I got home and they actually, when they're wrinkly, are sweeter. But look how many passion fruits I have. I can make like a passion fruit margarita. I'm gonna have some with some yogurt today, but this was my harvest of the day and then I'll show you guys the garden right now. Okay, here is the update. Everything is looking so good. Over here, we have my strawberries, which weren't yielding for the longest time. And then now, look how many strawberries are on here. It just took some time. I was really worried that they just weren't gonna work. I have quite a few that I need to harvest, actually, and I'll have them with my yogurt today. But quite a few beautiful red strawberries, quite a few growing. So I'm not quite sure how long these are gonna go for, but I'm just gonna keep them until they're done. And I'm gonna plant tomatoes here and here to go over this trellis. And then also here and here to go over this trellis. I think I'm gonna get, like, bigger ones this year. I would love to get, like, heirloom are those like pear shaped ones I had last year and then over here we have my rosemary and my thyme these are both still looking good I trimmed the thyme back a little bit but basically this half is totally good to keep and I have space over here to put some stuff I'm gonna get some flowers 
flowers. As for all the fruit trees, they're all doing really well. I have some new growth on my lime tree here. Hi, little fly. Hello, sir. The lime tree is looking really good. New growth on that. My passion fruit flowers are over here. They're blooming and they're actually in season now. So I'm going to get a lot more passion fruit. Look at how gorgeous this passion fruit flower is. Isn't it crazy looking? I think it's so pretty. So yeah, it's kind of extended over this way. These are all new passion fruit flowers right here. So I'm going to get tons. The vine has grown in very nicely. And then quite possibly the most exciting part, the peach tree is like twice as big as it was last year. And it's just going to keep growing. And if you look closely, you can see how many peaches are on there. If you guys remember, this is a cocktail peach tree. So there's four different varieties of peaches on this one tree. And they were roommates. So much bigger than it was last year. And this is my second year of getting peaches now. So very exciting. And I think I'm going to get double considering how big the tree is. Last year, I think I got almost 30 peaches. So maybe shooting for 60 this year. This is my avocado tree. It has not yielded any avocados yet since I've got it. Also, I think I need to put my shade on because it is uh, getting a little hot here already. I don't know if this is going to be the year that I get avocados. Hopefully we'll see, but I'm not holding out for that one. It's honestly not looking fabulous but we'll cross our fingers. This here is my lychee tree and I believe I might get lychees for the first time this year because it flowered for the first time ever. So we will see. Again, it just gets very hot here so I need to put the shade up soon so that they don't burn. The mango tree is looking gorgeous. As you can see, it flowered as well. It smells really sweet and delicious. This is my ice cream mango tree and this will be my second year that it yields mangoes. If it yields mangoes, I'm pretty sure it will. But it's looking good. It's dropping all of its older leaves, growing new leaves, flowering, looking good. And then my lemon tree tree over here is flowering quite a bit too. This one struggles quite a bit. If you can see, it's got a lot of yellow leaves, but it flowered a lot. So I'm pretty sure I'll get lots of lemons this year. Whew, okay, that was my big garden update. It is hot outside and I am so sweaty. So I'm going to go shower because my cowlick is just doing crazy things and I'll check in with you very soon. I was going to go shower and then I got hungry. So I made lunch instead. I did a TikTok. Oh, these always get so sticky. I did a TikTok on this recipe and it was super quick and easy, but they are are air fryer healthier buffalo chicken taquitos. They look like this. I already ate one and then realized it was missing something and I'm gonna have it with some hot and sweet jalapenos from Trader Joe's. They were really easy. I basically just took rotisserie shredded chicken, mixed it with some blended cottage cheese, some buffalo sauce and cheese, like shredded cheese, and then put in seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I think that was it. Mixed it all up, put it in the siete grainless tortillas and air fried them and they're really delicious and going to be even better with my hot and sweet jalapenos on top. You kidding me? Okay, got some of these. And I'm also having some fresh blueberries on the side, just snacking on these. And it is a delicious lunch at home. All right, let's do a little taste test together of everything. Mm, mm, mm. 10 out of 10, I'm gonna eat these and then go shower. Hi guys, <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Hi guys, good morning, it is the next day. Let's make some breakfast and we're heading out for a work day today. I'm meeting the whole team at this like co-working space so we can all just like catch up. I haven't seen them in a few weeks and just get a bunch of work stuff done and catch up on everything. So I'm very excited to see everyone, but let's make some breakfast before we go. All right, we're making a strawberry banana protein smoothie to take on the go with us. We've got some frozen strawberries, a few of those. Frozen bananas, it's so easy obviously just to cut up your own bananas and freeze them, but in a pinch, you can buy frozen bananas at the store. So we got some bananas here. Add some sweetness and some creaminess. Bananas check, we're gonna do scoop of vanilla protein powder. Gorgeous, maybe a little more for good measure. And I just realized I forgot my spinach. I'm gonna add spinach in because it's a great way to get in some extra vitamins and veggies that you can't taste. And then also I've got some fresh blueberries that I'm gonna add in too. So we're making this now a strawberry banana blueberry spinach smoothie. Handful of blueberries. I just love blueberries. Okay, now we're gonna do some almond butter for some healthy fats. This Mara Natha is my favorite brand because it's never too thick. It's nice and like scoopable. And also it's just almonds. So I'm gonna do a nice tablespoon of that. Our almond milk. Fill that up. I'm gonna do like half almond milk, half water, and then we blend. Perfect. I cleaned up and now it's ready. The color is a little grayish, but here we go. 
Mmm. I want mine a little thicker. I'm gonna add some ice, blend again, and I'll see you in a second. Hello, guys. Okay, before we leave, we're gonna leave in like a couple minutes. I want to pack up my new work bag that I got. Alani New sent over this gorgeous bright pink. I love this color so much. I'm pretty sure, I mean, it could be utilized as a gym bag, but I'm gonna use it as a work bag today. It's from Calpac, and it's this really cute little like puffy duffel situation, and it's adorable. So I'm gonna pack it to take to, not the office, but kind of technically like an office. All right, so in here, let's pack it together. It comes with a strap too. This is also great for travel, I'm sure. Could use it as like a carry-on situation. I will leave the strap at home though today and just bring the bag itself, but it's nice and cushy. The only thing is I don't know if it has like a laptop sleeve because it's not necessarily like a work bag, but we're gonna make it one. Okay, so I'm gonna take my laptop. We got the laptop, put it here on the corner, put it on the side. Okay, gorgeous. Then I've got this little bag here, and in here I'm gonna put my external hard drive. I'll put all my other little small things that I need, like my wallet, keys, we got my lip balm, we got my AirPods, all my work necessities. I also always bring a second pair of headphones in case my first ones die, because once my headphones go out, I can't really do much of my work, because usually I'm just like editing or doing work things that need sound. All right, there we go. I've got my big water, I've got my smoothie, I'm gonna pack a matcha too. I grabbed these matcha packets when I went to Japan and the, the quality was so good. It's from the Matcha Tokyo and I just happened to stumble upon it but then now I've seen how popular this place is all over TikTok and all over Instagram and they really did have like the best matcha ever so I'm definitely gonna bring one of these because I need my morning matcha. I might even pack a couple honestly because I like to have matcha throughout the day. So I'll pack one now, I'll drink one now and then pack one for later. I'll put that in the little side pocket. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna put some shoes on and let's go have a wonderful work day. Updates to further protect the laptop. I put it in a laptop sleeve. This one's from Wildflower Cases, I think. And put that in the bag. So now it's ultra protected. And now you guys are going in the bag too. Hi guys. Okay, updates. I had a wonderful work session earlier, catching up with everybody. We've got a lot of work stuff done, lots of planning. I just went to a facial and I look a little bit like the Saw character with my cheeks, but I did a facial and like a micro needle session to help with my acne scoring. It's getting so much better, but with the help, oh, wrong way, I think someone's coming out, hold on. <laughs> Hello, I'm back, I just pushed the wrong button. Yes, with the micro needling, it helps to lift the scarring. I look a little crazy, but I'm leaving this on for the rest of the night and we're going home now. Goodbye. Hello guys, it is later. My cheeks have absorbed all of that moisturizer or whatever that cream was on my face. And now, what are we doing, my love? We're making dinner. We're making dinner. We're doing a team dinner tonight and we are making a chicken salad. We're making chicken salad, not a chicken salad. Chicken salad and having it on a sandwich, I believe. So that is dinner. Let me show you where we're at. So for dinner, we're making a little bit of like a healthier spin on, you know, the normal chicken salad sandwich. We have here some hero bread. This is zero carb bread. I get to try it, but I've seen good things. So we're gonna put the sandwich on this bread. And then for the creamy element, instead of using mayo, which you normally use in a chicken salad, we're using a mixture of some blended cottage cheese and then some Greek yogurt. We got our mixture going on over here. I did sliced up two Persian cucumbers because I am not a celery fan and I like cucumbers more. So we did cucumbers, we did some grapes, um, a little bit of red onion diced up nice and finely. We did the Greek yogurt, the cottage cheese, and then for seasonings, we did salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, ranch seasoning, and then a little bit of minced garlic, like dried pieces. So I mix that all up, it's sitting here. Cal is over here poaching the chicken, and then we're gonna shock it in some ice water to cool it down, chop it up, throw it in that bowl and then refrigerate it for a bit and then make our dinner. So really easy, really quick. And uh, we're making lots so we have leftovers so we can make sandwiches for the rest of the week. Now you're getting it. <laughs> what were you saying? Say to the vlog. Triangular sandwich, more sandwich. <laughs> As opposed to slice <laughs> down the middle. As opposed to the vertical, yeah. I mean, I understand what you're saying. It's like your eyes are playing a trick on you. Scientifically, no, but I understand. We have our sandwiches here. I put some lettuce on and the chicken salad and some strawberries on the side. We've got so much chicken salad now to use for the rest of the week in wraps and sandwiches on salads and I'm stoked about it. Dinner's done, now I'm making ice cream. Okay, first I saw this recipe on Lauren's Instagram and I asked her for the breakdown of it. It is 
is a mint chocolate chip ice cream. And in here, I did one vanilla protein shake. And then I added, it's a little bit too much green food coloring. It's giving like uh, St. Patrick's Day beer, but that's okay. I did a tablespoon of vanilla sugar-free pudding powder, a little peppermint extract, a little vanilla extract. And I think that was it. Froze that for 24 hours. And then I just blended it once. I'm now gonna add in some milk. And then Cal asked for Oreos and chocolate chips in his ice cream. He's never had protein ice cream like this before and he loves mint chocolate chip and I'm excited to share with him. I'm excited to get his reaction. All right, we pour milk in the center and then we re-blend. Yum. Okay, we're all blended. I put the Oreos in here. It's getting a little soft now, sorry. I've blended it so many times. Sorry, it's more of like a McFlurry consistency now. <laughs> I hope that's okay. That's fine. Taste test. It's not that melty. Very minty. Yeah, sorry. I put, but it's good. I put a little too much it's mint. It's really good. Really good. I put Thank too you. much mint. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. All right, guys. I mixed mine up. I did a chocolate version. <coughs> <coughs> Oreo in the throat. I did mine with a chocolate protein shake and a little chocolate pudding powder. And then I mixed it and put some Oreos on top. And that is my protein dessert. Why are you laughing at me? I did a chocolate version. <laughs> 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 Hi guys! Okay, it is the next day. Hello, I am up and at it day. I did my hair and makeup because we have a very busy day today. I'm actually on the way over to go see Belle to get some new Botox in my jaw. This will be my third time doing this overall and you guys, it has made such a huge difference in my TMJ. Last week though, I was really having trouble sleeping because my jaw was causing really bad headaches and I was having like eye pain and all these sorts of things. So it's definitely time to go get a little bit of a, a refresher on, whoa, hold on, sorry. Well, Hello, I'm back. I'm also listening okay, to the new Pretty Basic play. episode that launched today, which is the one with Shane. So go listen to that if you guys haven't already. But yes, we're getting a refresher on the Botox and I'll catch up with you guys after that. But yay, I'm excited for my headaches to go away. Whoa. Hi guys, okay, I finished. <laughs> Belle is absolutely incredible. I'm embarrassed because I'm sitting in a courtyard between two popular stores so people keep walking through. But I saw Belle, I'm gonna link her down below if you guys are in the area or if you're looking for someone who is amazing, who does Botox, I believe she does filler, she does a bunch of other things. She's fantastic, I'll leave her link down below. I got it done, we just did a little bit more in the jaw to help with my tension. And I brought my, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I brought my makeup to touch up because she had to take my makeup off to do the injections. So I'm gonna retouch it up now. Wait, before I do that, I'm gonna place a pickup order that's right down the street, and you guys can probably already guess what I'm getting. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup, hold on. All right, touched up the makeup. I'm not quite sure why I chose there to vlog, I'm so sorry. But it looks good, nice and blended, and now we're getting, you know what? They're doing some construction, so I'm walking on the street, but we have arrived. All right, we got the goods. I got a juice, a green juice. Let me read you my receipt. Green shield plus ginger. I think it's like apple, spinach, broccoli, kale. Add ginger. I got a cold brew with almond milk because I need to be awake for the podcast episode today. And then I got a giant tuna cotto because I haven't had breakfast yet. So I got lots of extra so I can stay nice and full. I did the normal tuna cotto and then I added on more avocado, pesto, onion, cucumber, and tomato, and tuna. So basically like double everything. Add cucumber, add pickled onion. And I'm so excited. Tastes like green juice. Mm. Hold it. Hold it. Just say hi, Bog. Hi, Bog. I'm here at the studio. I'm here at the studio. I'm recording an episode. Of I'm Remy. about to record <laughs> an episode of Pretty Basic with Remy. My wow, script. Look, <laughs> look at our uh, high difference right now. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, I just recorded a solo episode. I think it went very well. The first solo episode that I did, like a year ago, I don't know if you guys remember. Well, you probably did, but it was very short lived. It was a three and a half hour episode that I filmed and it was uh, edited down to 30 minutes. This time we did over an hour and I'm pretty sure it'll be at the hour mark. So I think I did a much better job and I'm so excited. Are you excited, babe? Super excited. What are you doing? I'm gonna get my reflection in the Discord. <laughs> okay, bye. We're at Cal's related birthday dinner with Cal, obviously, and Andy. And I have a special gift for Andy, which is why I'm gonna vlog. Please record this, Cal. Thank you. Andy, close your eyes. Okay, hands out. Oh, let me take the tag off. There you go. You can open. <laughs> I got one too. I got one too. The joke never dies. <laughs> Yeah. 
dinner and I went and picked up a very special package. These cupcakes. Just kidding. Look who's here. They're like, return it, babe. <laughs> After dinner, I picked up Ollie, my aunt. I need to read them the card that she made me. As you guys saw, I gave my aunt her Pharrell shirt and I trolled her. And then in the same moment, she handed me this card that she had already prepped to troll me. It says princess, cause she's called me a princess since I was a baby. And it says, congrats. And I thought, oh my God, it's gonna say, congrats on becoming an auntie, you know, something <laughs> sentimental. It says, Congratulations for having me as an aunt. You are so lucky. I am so jealous. Good job bringing Cal into the family. Keep up the good work. 10 out of 10 stars. Love, Auntie. <laughs> and also gave us Sprinkles cupcakes. So we're gonna eat some. Ollie's here because we haven't had a friendship hangout day in weeks, obviously. And tomorrow we're gonna go bop around town, spend some time together. Yay. Oh my God. <gasps> Yum. Oh my God, they look so good. We sprinkle vanilla cupcakes. These are my favorite. Favorite. Two strawberry shortcake cupcakes, and then these are the two cupcakes of the month. They're like Vietnamese coffee flavored. I am partial to sprinkles, and I'll be having this is my dessert. On that note, I'm gonna end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. No, what? Well, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> Perhaps a bite of my cupcake. Oh my god, just fun fetty on the inside. That's sexy. Mmm. Oh. Truly though, I had so much fun cooking with you guys this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.